If I were to ask you which US airline offers the worst service and passenger comfort, most of you would probably answer Spirit Airlines. But I'm wondering if that is really the case. So today, I've made it my task to get a feel for Spirit Airlines and to find out if everything is really as bad as it's always said. Hey guys, and very good day from Los Angeles International Airport. Today, I'll be flying all the way to Oakland, California, on board Spirit Airlines' brand new Airbus A320 Neo aircraft. I'm actually pretty much looking forward to today's Spirit flight, as my last flight experience with Spirit Airlines were actually pretty decent. So, thank you guys for coming along to today's video, and let's head right inside the terminal building. See you there. Cheers. I just got here on a bus from downtown Santa Monica and have to say that LAX airport is relatively easy to reach by public transport as there are several free shuttle buses heading to various bus and metro stations nearby. Anyway, let's finally head inside the terminal building. By the way, we are on the arrivals level here. And for me as a European, it is kind of interesting to see that the luggage belts are open to everyone. In Europe, this is rarely the case. As you can see here on the arrival monitor, Terminal 4 is mainly used by JetBlue, Alaska, American and of course Spirit Airlines. The check-in counters are located on level 1, which can be easily reached by an escalator. Spirit Airlines provides its passengers with many self-check-in machines and of course I highly appreciate that because you don't have to stand in the long queue in front of the normal check-in counters anymore. Today, however, everything looks very empty, which is probably because of the fact that it's already evening and therefore no rush hour. Incidentally, Spirit Airlines only allows one small personal item in the basic fare. Everything else, even a cabin trolley, has to be bought for very high fees. Fortunately, this is rarely checked at the gate. My Spirit Airlines flight 1619 departs from gate 56B at 7.28 pm and even seems to be on time so far. And I would say that it is now time to visit the security checkpoint as it is 6.30 pm right now, so my flight is already leaving in less than one hour. Well, that was probably the best TSA control I ever had, as there was literally no waiting time, neither at the passport control nor at the security control itself. There are a few shops and restaurants at the gate area, and these charging stations can also be seen quite often. Unfortunately, however, not all power outlets worked on this one. The boarding process of my flight started 45 minutes before the scheduled departure time, which is actually very early, isn't it? Alright, and you guys can already see today's Airbus A320 Neo aircraft with the registration November 937 November Kilo. And believe it or not guys, but I'm really really looking forward to finally board the aircraft in order to show you guys the cabin interior etc. Even though it's Spirit Airlines. Alright, I'm finally inside the jet bridge on my way to the aircraft. Alright guys, I finally settled in at my seat 9 Alpha, so let's take a first glimpse at it. Unfortunately, the legroom of my seat 7A is not that good as you can see here. This is probably due to the reason that Spirit Airlines has equipped their Airbus A320 Neo aircrafts with 31 rows. However, there are finally decent tables in this new cabin, which unfortunately was absolutely not the case in the old cabin. So Spirit Airlines has improved significantly here. Finally, there is also a storage compartment for magazines in the front seat. And of course, we will take a closer look at the magazines themselves later in the flight. Fortunately, the view outside from my seat is absolutely brilliant and I am already looking forward to the sunset. And last but not least, let's have a quick look through the cabin. Of your seat belts are securely fastened, your tie table have been sewn away, and all of your carry-on items are sewed underneath the seat in front of you or in one of those overhead bins. If you are seated in a window seat, 
safety. Be sure that that window shade remains open for takeoff. And if you're seated in one of the aisle seats, please make sure that your armrests have been lowered. For by the time to Oakland, it's going to be one hour and three minutes. If you'd like to get a time on your phone, thank you for your attention. We'll be part of As promised beforehand, let's take a closer look at all the paper stuff. First of all, here we have the safety card of today's Airbus A320neo aircraft. And here is the onboard menu. Spirit Airlines offers snacks and drinks for purchase on their flights. This is normal for a low-cost airline and the prices are still okay in my opinion. Unfortunately, however, there are no power outlets or USB ports underneath the seat in front, but I would honestly be lying if I said I expected something else. However, what I really like is that the armrest next to the window can be folded up. This is usually not the case and allows me to lean against the window in a more relaxed manner. The passenger service unit above my head has reading lights and fresh air nozzles. Spirit Airlines even has an onboard Wi-Fi network with which you can access a live flight map with your mobile devices. Furthermore, you can buy internet access packages here at a fairly low price and the Spirit Airlines website is actually always accessible for free, which is definitely very convenient. Well, it turns out that there is actually no in-flight service on today's flight, as we have just started with our descent into Oakland. Honestly, that's kind of weird, as the actual flight time is about one hour, so there should be more than enough time to do a full service. And honestly, I also wanted to have a coffee, so yeah, I'm sorry for Spirit now that they can't earn $3.50, I guess, um, with me by uh, purchasing a coffee. But anyway, it is what it is. The cabin crew has prepared the cabin for landing and accordingly it's time for me to double check that my seat belt is now securely fastened. Ladies and gentlemen, in final preparation for landing, please check to see that your seat belts are securely fastened. Your tray tables have been put away and all of your carry-on items are stowed underneath the seat in front of you.
Thank you guys. Have a great one. Bye. Cheers. Alright, in the end I can definitely recommend Spirit Airlines for shorter domestic flights, despite the few negative points I already mentioned. So thank you guys for coming along today, take care and cheers!